All right, so this is going to be a really short podcast, and um, essentially, um, this is um, drawing structural formulas. Um, from what we did on Lewis dots with covalent, it gets really messy really quickly. Nobody wants to look at that mess. Okay, so um, essentially, where we are sharing, so I'm going to highlight this, where we're sharing two electrons, that is a bond, okay? And a bond is going to be represented with a dash. So to draw the structural formula for this messy thing right here, I would simply do C dash H dash H dash H dash H. Okay. And that's the structural formula for CH4. Okay. So where we've drawn a circle to share, it becomes a dash in the structural formula. Uh, now there's lots of writing on that one. Okay. So down here, um, same thing. I'm sharing between my left O and my SI, and I'm sharing between my left O and my SI. So what that's going to look like is I'm going to have O on the left, and I'm actually going to have a double bond, okay, which is two dashes, because I'm, I have two different circles. Um, with my right oxygen, I've got a shared here and a shared there. So same thing, I'm going to have a double bond on the right side. Okay, so structural formulas use dashes instead of dots and, and like circles showing where a bond is. Uh, we're going to skip to nitrogen next and we'll come back to sulfur dioxide. So on this one, um, I am sharing here, I'm sharing there, I'm sharing there. So because I'm sharing in three different spots, it's going to be a triple bond. So N dash 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 N. All right, last one is this. It's kind of messy. So um, on my O on the left, my S in the middle, I've got a circle there and a circle there. So that's going to become O double bond S. All right. And on the right hand side, um, I'm sharing one here. Okay. So that's going to basically be a single bond O. However, on my central atom, okay. So in this case, my central atom is S. Again, it's what I underline in the name. I'm going to put a lone pair of electrons if I happen to have a lone pair. And here, um, I'll circle it with blue. I have a pair of electrons that only belong to S. All right, I probably should have chosen something other than blue since I have that other circle right there. We'll do purple. So notice I got two dots right there that only belong to S. So we say that is a lone pair on S. It's not a bonding pair of electrons. So it'll go on S. It could have gone on the bottom, could have gone on the top, um, but I got a double bond between O on the left and S in the middle. I got a single bond between O on the right and S in the middle, and I have a lone pair above S. So what we don't worry about, we don't have to do lone pairs on my oxygens. So like on this auction, I'd have two lone pairs. On this one, I have three lone pairs. We don't have to do that. But this lone pair on my central atom, I need to show. And you'll see why in a couple days.